Hello everyone, welcome to Crafting with Barbara. So today my tutorial is going to be a fake bake. It's not going to be a cake though. It's going to be something else, but it's still a fake bake. Um, so I'm going to get started here. So I got this adorable little M&M glass thing. I guess you could put candy in it. I don't know. You could put whatever I guess you want in it. See, it's so cute. So, um, in here, what I did, just to get going, um, it's just foam. I just used a piece of this, um, cut it into where I wanted it to be, and then I just used a piece of foam, um, regular foam, uh, put it on the top, and then I used a foam ball, and I just cut a piece off of the foam ball, stuck it here, and then painted it. I have my little hole here because that's what I have already ready. So... Um, I have this, um, M&M box, which it was a real M&M box. I have the M&Ms right here. <laughs> um, one of my favorite M&M peanuts. I was sitting here chewing on them before I started, but that's not what we're here for. So, um, all I did was I took one of those little, um, craft, uh, things they sell at a Dollar Tree. I don't know if you guys can really see through there. And I just stuck it in here. I dumped the M&Ms and I just stuck it in here like that. And then I'm going to be sticking this up here. So let's just go ahead and get that in there. I want to put a good amount of glue because I want it to make sure it holds real good in there for me. Okay, see? All right, so we got the box nice and ready in there. I have a little gap right here and right here, but that's okay because you're not going to see it. So now that we got this in there, make sure it's in there good. All right, so now on the side here, I have all my little M&M's that I made. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did not sit here and in each one write the little M. Because I'm looking at the real ones here and you can't barely even see it. And I tried to do one and my hands are like so shaky that I will really break my head sitting here trying to put an M on every single one of them. So we're going to skip the M. I don't care. We're just going to skip it. So, um, what I did was I used this. You already know. And I just rolled them in my hand and then shaped them how I want it. And then put a toothpick slowly in it. And then set them here. I let them dry. And then I painted them. So, I think they turned out pretty cool. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to get started with sticking them here. So you guys already have to have an idea of what I want to do here. I want to make it look like the M&Ms are spilling out of the box. So let's see how it goes. Um, just slowly take out. Now you're going to have that little white spot, but it's okay. Slowly take it out and give it like a little squeeze right there. And I'm just going to start sticking them. I'm just going to slowly see how you get the little white spot, but it's okay because you could just put your glue there. And get to sticking. Oop. 
Now, I hope I have enough. I mean, this is a pretty good amount. That's cool. See? I'm just squeezing the little corner from where I pull the um toothpicks out of. slowly sticking them around like after I was completely done with my little M&Ms here I thought about it I said maybe I should have made way more than what I made but I'm gonna try to make it work. And then you know once you start like sticking them next to each other, because of what I'm using, they'll start slowly sticking. guys can see see and these was very easy to make have a little bit of nails so I have to be careful how I go putting them on because I don't want to squeeze a certain part and have my nail marking stuck in it I think that's pretty cool. Now, if I run out, it's okay because I, I like, I, I do have another bag so I can make more and, you know, but I'm going to try my best to get it covered up as best as I can before running out. Maybe I should have did both packs, but I was trying not to. So I'm just, as you see, I'm just gluing as I go. I 
hope I have enough. I'm going to try to put a couple towards the back. That way we can get the back covered up. See, you don't want to see this stick. Maybe I should cover up my front first. Like I said, I have more. I have another pack, so I can easily make more. I'm trying not to have to make more, but if I have to, it's fine. Cause I had to let this sit. I let them sit for a while. I let them sit for like maybe a day or two. Concentrating. I think that's pretty cool. I can get it covered up pretty good. It's turning out cool. I'm, I'm hoping I have enough. It's blue. Always fighting the glue. means a little spot wasn't fully dry. It's okay, I'll dab a little bit. So it's really easy. I found this a long time ago. 
at a thrift store. You can feel that they're still a little teeny bit wet. Like when you pull the um, toothpick out. Guys, maybe I should have made more than what I made. I have a fly, guys, that won't leave me alone. So if you happen to see it go in front of the camera, sorry. It's been down here bothering me for a while trying to ignore it I'm hoping that I can at least make it down, to <laughs> cover up my little, I think that's what I better start working on, covering up my little holes down here. Okay, I'm trying to I think it's turning out adorable guys. I'm trying to really cover up my spots. Maybe I should have worked on those spots first. Because like I said, I have like little gap right here.
Get nervous, guys. Trying to Hello. We'll get you somewhere. Think we're gonna make it. Hope we're gonna make it. All right. over here out of my way in a minute okay so I love the way it turned out guys what do you think oh wait I need my brown paint guys because I touched one of my brown ones I got a couple 
reds all bunched up right there, but that's fine. Because it's the back. So, I was going to stick it on one of these, like this. I swear it is glue. It's like the glue strings up. And then I have another box that's empty that I also poured in here. And, um... I was going to like stick this here and then put the box here, here like that. See something like that. But then if you see how it covers, or you know what, we could do that. Okay. So let's get this glue down. string to the glue just frustrates maybe I should have made more maybe I'll make more like off camera so I'm going to put the box right here and then maybe I can make a couple more to like sit down here around it I think I'm going to do that gonna glue the box down that way it's not moving all over the place because oh my god I hate that hold it down a couple minutes So I'm not sure if I want to open this pack and make a couple little ones just to like maybe add here on the sides and stuff. So I might do that. I might not. Maybe I can try to do the M on those. Not sure. But for now, I think it's, I think it's perfect. I, I really love the way this turned out. I, and like I said, this is one of my favorite M&Ms. So I thought this was a perfect one to do. I had this put away so that I completely had forgot about it. Then I realized, wait, I could do something with this. So here it goes. And I, like I said, I really like the way it turned out. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a couple on the side. I might, I might not. I'm not sure. I kind of want to. Just because I think it'll look neat, like a couple laying down here. Um, but I don't want to waste nobody's time on that. Um, so I'll probably, if I decide to do that, I'll do that off camera. But for now, I think it's perfect. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to add a couple more. I might, I might not. I don't know. But I love the way it is as it is. So we'll see. But there you go, guys. I loved it. I, I, I think it turned out perfect. So I hope you guys love this tutorial. Don't forget to comment down below. And please don't forget to subscribe. And I really appreciate all the love you guys gave me and my granddaughter for our lemonade stand. Um, she really enjoyed herself. And it was really fun. Um, I got sunburned. Like, really, like, really, really bad. <laughs> just sitting out there with her but you know what all this burning is worth it because the smile on her face was priceless and she was really excited because it was something she's been asking her mommy to do for a while and we finally did it so i really appreciate the love you guys gave us and um 
like I said, don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. You see, it was very easy to do. Um, if you guys try it, let me see it. Um, like I said, I got this at the thrift store. These are from Walmart, the little cake things from Walmart. Um, I bought the M&Ms from Walmart as well. Because I thought it would. I was going to use a pack, like the packs. But then I thought, you know what? The box might be way more better. So we got the box. So um, like I said, I used this. To make my M&M pieces, I did not add my little M&Ms on it because my hand was not working for me with that. But I love the way it turned out. I think it still turned out perfect. You you get the idea. Um, so I will see you guys in the next tutorial. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.